welcome back to my channel and if you are new here my name is Audrey and today I have for y'all another Shein haul and it's a pretty big one. So a huge thank you to Shein for sending some of these items to me. The rest I got myself because they have got some really really nice summer stuff and I am really excited about it. <laughs> And I'm just ready for this haul. So, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to let you know when I upload a new video. And let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first look in this haul is a little bit different. <laughs> Y'all, when I saw this little pink top with bananas on it, I fell in love. I had to get it. I put it in my wish list and I just had to have this shirt. I think it is the cutest thing. I love the pink background. I just think it's adorable. And I went with the 4XL and it is 100% polyester, but it does have a linen-y feel to it or a gauzy feel to it. It's very lightweight thin but not see-through and it is so comfortable easy to iron when I got it it had a few wrinkles in it just from being in those little bags but y'all this shirt I think it's adorable I know it's not going to be for everybody and I get it but this is just the cutest thing so I'm going to show you this print look that's just so cute again it reminds me of the golden girls I I just love it you've got those leaves and the bananas and that pink background I think it is the cutest thing ever. Now, I do have it tied in the front. Y'all know I like to do that, but I will untie it in just a minute so y'all can see it. So, I have it tied in the front, and there's the back, and I paired it with these shorts. I'm not sure. I think I showed these in one of my other hauls, but I just wanted to keep it kind of casual, so I have some distressed shorts. So these are a 4XL and they will be linked below. I know I, sh I think I showed them in another haul before. I'm not 100% positive, but they are so comfortable. They are just very, very comfortable. Again, a 4XL and I love the wider thigh or the leg of these because I don't like shorts to be too tight. So I'm new to shorts. Y'all know that and distressing is new to me, but I got both in one <laughs> with these shorts. I just love this. I love that I have room to move in these shorts. They're not too tight in the thigh. They are just really, really comfortable, but they're long enough to wear. My legs don't have to rub together too, too much because y'all know that is not fun. But I just think this is so cute. I think it's adorable. I love, love, love this shirt. And I took a few pictures a few minutes ago outside just to see how it photographed. Because sometimes things cannot be so great when you take it out of the package. But once you take a few pictures of it, it changes everything. This is one of those shirts. So if y'all like to take pictures and post them on, on Instagram or wherever, this might be a shirt to consider because it photographs beautifully. <laughs> So, here is the front and the back. And so now I have it untucked, like I said, it is perfect length. It's pretty long for just, for a Shein blouse, it's pretty long because sometimes they like to crop things a little bit, but it does button all the way up the front, but you can always, I usually unbutton the bottom one, sometimes the next one up if there's not enough room in between them. But this one, I think I unbuttoned just the bottom one because this has so much room down here. And I always like to just pull it and tie it in a little knot. Sometimes you don't have enough room for that, but I am so happy with this shirt. I think it is so, so cute. I think it's adorable. And there is the back. So just your traditional blouse hem and it's perfect. So before we get started on the next shirt, I wanted to show it to you up close so you can kind of see the details of it. I'm on the fence about this one and I read a couple of reviews where some people kind of feel the same way as me. I think it's made really well. It's very pretty in my opinion, but when you have it on, it tends to pull up and up and up and up. So <laughs> I don't know if I want to be messing with it all day, but I just wanted to show you up close what I'm talking about. So this one I went with the 4XL in based on the measurements and because of the cut of it, I didn't want it to be too tight around the waist. So it is 100% polyester, but I'm going to hold it up so you can see. So it's a kind of a dolman sleeve top, but it has, 
it's twisted in the front right here. So it's like a permanent tie that's made in the front. So as you can see, from the inside, it's twisted and it's sewn that way. So it's, it's always like it's tied right here in the front but, and then flipped in on the inside, if that makes sense. But I just wanted you to see that before I put it on and then maybe you'll see what I'm talking about. So I'm really on the fence with this. I kind of want to pair it with a red skirt, like a high-waisted skirt. But I just wanted to show it to you as it is. So I'm going to pair it with these shorts that I have on because I haven't quite nailed down what I want to put it with. I tried it on with some white jeans and it just didn't work. It just, I don't know, it just did not look good to me. So I might... I might try to come up with something, but I'm gonna put this on and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is that top that I just showed y'all, and I know that I've got it on with a pair of distress shorts. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what to put this with. I don't know, I just haven't quite figured it out yet. So I wanted y'all to see, it's, so here is that little twist that I was talking about. So it's kind of knotted right here, and then it scoops down, and here is the back. So. I tried it on a little bit ago and I was just kind of walking around and as you go, it starts doing this. <laughs> so that, that's my belly. I know it looks like a white tank top, <laughs> but it's not, that's me. But as you move, it tends to go up. And that was one of the complaints that I saw online. So as you move, you can see that it's, it's lifting. So I think throughout the day, you would just have to keep pulling it down and I don't know, so I'm not sure. I think it would be really cute with a red skirt or maybe a red pair of pants or pink or something. I'm not really sure, but I do think it's beautiful. I'm gonna show you the pattern up close. So you have, it's a buffalo plaid, but it's red, pink, and white. Now I'll tell you it's a little bit noisy because it is polyester, but it's more of that more of that silky polyester where the banana shirt felt more linen even though it was 100% polyester just the way they treat it. This one has a little bit of a slick feel to it and it makes a little bit of a, a rustling noise <laughs> when you move. But I think it's cute, but again, I'm not 100% sure how I would style it. So you may see this again with something else. Maybe if you follow me on Instagram, I'm gonna try to put this with something and figure that out. But it is pretty, I love the colors. It's red, pink, and white, can't go wrong. I, I really do like this. And it does have non-functioning buttons down the front. So they're just your basic like frosted clear buttons that go down the front. Delman sleeves, they are cuffed. And then that little twist in the front. You just pull it right over your head and that's it. But I gotta figure out what to put this with. I'm not really sure, but here is the front and the back. And now for the next look in this haul I have for y'all. I'm gonna step back because these are adorable. These shorts are by Emery Rose. Y'all know I love Emery Rose. <laughs> and I mentioned in a couple of hauls ago, Emory Rose has branched out and they have their own website now. So if you haven't, I think it's Shop Emory Rose or something like that. Just Google them and you'll find them. They have a few more pieces than what they have on Shein. So if you are a fan of Emory Rose clothing, they do have their own website now. So check that one out. So these of course came from Shein and they are a 4XL Emory Rose and 100% cotton. And y'all, these are adorable. So I picked these out first and I had to find a shirt to match. And that's when I picked this one out. But y'all, these shorts, you have your elastic waist here. They're just pull on shorts. So there's no buttons or zippers or anything to worry about. They're just flat front, pull on. They have elastic in the waist, no pockets. And it has a decorative drawstring right here in the front. So it's just tacked on here and you can make a pretty little bow or you can leave it however you want to do it. But I love these shorts and I think they come in five different colors. So I am definitely going to be getting some more of them because they are a very comfortable fit. They're not pulling, they're not too tight. And again, they are a 4XL. And for the shirt, I went with a 
3XL and it's a cotton polyester elastane mix and I have not seen many pieces from Shein with elastane so it makes me kind of happy because Lane Bryant uses that a lot or they used to. I'm not sure I haven't bought from them in a while. <laughs> but y'all, this t-shirt, and again, I will untuck it after we're done so you can see the full length of it, but it is adorable. So you have your traditional crew neck, basic t-shirt, but a little detail of the open shoulder comes all the way down here. It does not tie yourself. That's decorative. So you have that banded arm and then the little decorative tie. So I just think this is the perfect color, the perfect fit for these shorts without it being too, too casual. I think that the open arms kind of bring it up just a little bit. And I just think these are adorable. Again, the shorts are long enough, so they're not too short. I do not do short shorts. <laughs> My thighs can't handle it. That would be awful. But these are so pretty and so comfortable. And you could always put on a little denim jacket with this, dress it up a little bit. I just love this and I am definitely getting more of these shorts. So here is the front and the back. And here is that t-shirt untucked as promised. <laughs> Again, a very generous fit. I went with a 3XL and you have plenty of room in this one plenty of stretch, but it holds its shape. So I guess maybe that's that elastane and spandex mixture because it just goes right back and it just fits beautifully. I love this top. I think it is so pretty and y'all know it's one of my favorite colors. <laughs> so highly recommend this one. I love this. For the next look in this haul, I have for y'all this really <laughs> beautiful blue top and these pants, but I needed to show them to you up close before I put them on because there is one little detail about them that you might miss if I don't show it to you up close. So these are navy paisley print pants. They are pull on with an elastic waist and you have a decorative tassel drawstring. It doesn't really pull anything in. It's just tacked on right here, but you have this really pretty tassel drawstring and down at the ankles, that's the part I wanted to show you. So they have an elastic band in the ankles. So kind of like a jogger or harem pants, however you want, whatever you want to call it, you go ahead. But it has a little tie. It has little ties on the ankle. So you have that banded ankle and on the side, it has little ties, it has strings. So they came untied. I'm assuming I'm supposed to tie them, but I got to tell you, I'm hundred percent honest. I'm probably going to take these off just because I really want to wear them to work. And those little strings would probably drive me crazy. <laughs> so I'm probably just going to snip those off whenever I put them on to wear them to work, just because they're going to keep coming untied and I don't want them dragging the ground. And I have two cats, as y'all know, and they have already gotten a hold of these. <laughs> so I put these on earlier just to try them on. I was walking around and here they came. So it was playtime for them. So I'm probably gonna take these off. I think they're very pretty, but they're just not that practical for me. So again, 100% polyester and I went with the 4XL in these. So I'm gonna pop these on and I'll be right back. Okay, and here is that look together. Y'all, I love these. <laughs> I know that they may not be for everybody. Not everybody likes to tuck their shirts in, and I get that. People will message me sometimes and say, oh, I wish that I had the confidence to tuck in my shirt. So I didn't always feel that great about tucking in a shirt or wearing something high-waisted. I always thought it was pretty on other people or because y'all know I like a lot of vintage stuff and I would see different styles and I thought that I can't do that because I'm plus size. So I did shy away from it for a long time. And then I don't know what, it just something clicked one day and I tried on something. I tucked in my shirt and I had on some high-waisted pants and I have been wearing them ever since. So just give it a try. You may not like it, may not be comfortable in it, but you gotta try it. Don't just watch other people and wish, just do it. And it may just not be your style but you never know until you try, because that's what I did. So again, I tuck my t-shirt in. Now I will untuck it so you can see the full length once we are done. But I think these are adorable. I probably should tie this. 
I didn't realize how long that was. But y'all, I love these pants. When I saw them, I was on the fence because not until I bought those pants from Shop Queen, and I'll try to link that haul below because that was the first time I ever bought pants that had elastic at the ankle, and I wasn't really sure about it, but now I just love them. So that kind of kicked off a little trend for me because they're so comfortable and they just look nice. I just love them. And anytime I wear them to work, people ask me where they came from. They didn't come from where I work, but <laughs> anyway, I really love these. Again, I'm probably gonna take those little bow ties off of the ankles. They're really cute, but they're just not practical for all the walking that I do. But these are beautiful and I could not be happier. Again, 4XL and you got plenty of room to move in. The little tassel just adds a little bit of that pop of white and I love it and I love it with this blue shirt. This color blue is absolutely gorgeous and I was gonna pair these pants with a white shirt but I'm glad I went with the blue. I just think it looks so pretty and it almost makes the paisley look blue. But this top is a 3XL and it's a polyester rayon spandex mix. So again, extremely soft. You have Again, like almost a dolman sleeve in this one. I love the sleeves in this top. I got another one in purple, and you'll probably see that again, and I'm going to order a tan, and they have a hunter green. They only have those four colors, but y'all, this top is a must-have. I'm, I'm telling you, you got to get this t-shirt <laughs> because it's beautiful. It lays beautifully but it's very very comfortable i love those dolman sleeves the v-neck because it's not too high but it's not too low it's just perfect it's a perfect fit and it lays beautifully on your body i love this t-shirt so you'll probably see the purple one soon i just didn't have anything to put it with today but definitely get this t-shirt but y'all overall i am very happy with this and i am probably going to wear this to work tomorrow because it is too cute so, here is the front and the back. And here is that t-shirt untucked. I know I've talked a lot about a plain t-shirt <laughs> in this haul, but it's so, so nice. I really want y'all to enjoy this because it is Perfect, and you can even wear it untucked and it still be very pretty. If you wanna just throw on a pair of shorts with it, put this on and it is gorgeous, especially this blue. If you can get your hands on this color, it is beautiful. And the next look in this haul, y'all, these pants are gorgeous. They are so pretty. I know it looks like a maxi skirt probably from there, but these are just wide leg pants and they are beautiful. So I paired these pants, they are a size 4XL and they are 100% polyester. And I paired them with a little basic t-shirt. It's kind of an oatmeal tan color. And this t-shirt is one of the softest shirts that I have ever had. It's a cotton spandex mix. So you have room in this it moves with you but it lays on your body really really pretty the neck is your classic v-neck short sleeves and i will untie this once i get done showing you the outfit so you can see the full length of it it is a full length t-shirt so it's not cropped but y'all these pants absolutely steal the show when i saw them i was worried that they wouldn't fit because y'all know i carry weight in here and sometimes really high-waisted pants just kind of kind of accentuate this <laughs> this area. So I took a chance and I got these and I absolutely love them. And they are very high-waisted. So they come all the way up to here. Here is that. It doesn't really have a band in it, but it does zip up the back. And they're very easy to put on. The legs are so wide. I will tell you, I have a lot of room in the waist but I couldn't have sized down. So I do have a little bit of, just a little bit of a, if you can see where it does come out a little bit right here, but it's okay because my t-shirt covers that up. It doesn't really bow out in the back. It's just right here. There's a little space right here in the front, but the fit of these is beautiful. They are fitted here. There's no stretch. These are 100% polyester, no stretch, but the most comfortable pants ever and just the 
They're beautiful. They're so billowy. They almost look like a skirt. They're just gorgeous. I just love these. I'm so glad that I got them because I've been looking at them and finally just got them and I think they're gorgeous. So here is the front and the back. And now I just wanted to show you this t-shirt untucked so you could get the full effect. It is a true t-shirt and like I said very stretchy I went with the 2XL I don't know if I said that I went with the 2XL in this one based on the measurements and it is the perfect fit now if you see you can kind of see through it's a little bit transparent but not anything too bad it's just because I have on black pants underneath so it happens but this t-shirt is perfect and so 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 soft I'm gonna have to check and see if they have any other colors because it is pretty. <laughs> so, <laughs> sometimes things here on my channel don't work. Just so y'all know, sometimes what you think something's going to look like in your head or what it looked like on the model doesn't, doesn't work. <laughs> doesn't turn out that way for you personally. This little overall jumpsuit is that thing so i went with the 4xl in this one it is 100 percent polyester and y'all it is not cute <laughs> so yeah so i had to put on some shapewear and i put on a little tank top this whole thing is a mess i'm just gonna go ahead <laughs> and tell y'all so i got this little bodysuit tank top to wear under this because that's what it looked like on Shein's website. I think this was the same tank top that she had on. <laughs> but this one's a bodysuit. I can't get it to snap because it's too short. So it, it comes way up here. And so my boyfriend, I'm standing here and he's trying to snap it for me. It's a mess. So I just kind of tucked it in. So that's what all this is bunched up right here. <laughs> And he couldn't get it zipped up, so I put on some shapewear shorts, and that is the perfect outline that y'all can see. <laughs> so it's just kind of a, it's just a hot mess. So there may very well, you have really pretty buckled detail here. Again, I went with a 4XL. I thought I would be okay with that one. So you do have, these are adjustable. You've got the little bib here. They are full length pants so they are just they're really cute but the problem that I ran into is it has a zipper up the sides so I'm going to show y'all as embarrassing as this is I want to show y'all <laughs> so it has a zipper right up here up the side and it was awful getting this thing zipped right here up here you can see I have room like up here is fine at the top but we just had to get there and getting there was a struggle because it is snug right here and I have on some pretty serious serious boy shorts I mean y'all this is just not a cute look I had really high hopes for it it's not sitting right in here <laughs> and every step that I seem to take it goes high. on this leg here it just starts riding up <laughs> but I got to share the lows along with the highs on here because this, this is definitely a, a low. It is just not cute. I think it would be beautiful for on people that just don't have a lot of this or a lot of this or a whole lot of this. <laughs> Woo. Okay, so I'm going to show you all the front and the back of this and then I'm getting out of it because I can't really breathe that well. <laughs> another jumpsuit this one has a few little issues too <laughs> but nothing like the one that you just saw so this one is your polka dot culotte or cropped jumpsuit and I think it's adorable I went with the 4XL and it's 100% polyester 
you have an elastic band right here in the waist, so plenty of room. I can breathe in this one, I can move in it, I don't feel like anything's gonna pop out, and I really love the fit of this one. I love the ruffly sleeves, I just think it's adorable. But here is the slight issue, and I think with a few pins, maybe some fabric, some tape, it could, <laughs> I could figure this out. So it comes down pretty low. As you can see, you can see my bra right here. I have on a nude bra, but you can see it right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and untie this so you can see what I'm kind of dealing with here because it was so cute online. It is really cute, don't get me wrong, but just, you'll see what I mean in just a second. So I'm not gonna expose everything, but it is cut open all the way down to here. So I knew it was like a peekaboo type thing, but it is open all the way down to here. So the idea is you tie this into a bow, but I had to tie mine really tight because it's too low. I just, it's way too low. So I tied it pretty tight a second ago. And let me get this whole thing together, get my life together. Um, so I had it tied in a bow, but here's the other problem. So on this side, you have your black polka dot fabric, but then the back side is like the, it's just the underlying fabric behind it. So it, it just doesn't look good because, and I've twisted them, I've tucked them in, I've done everything that I can. So that side, I can keep it down here and then you kind of work with these and get that under fabric, I guess, that the backing of the fabric covered up. But every time you move, it's like, it shows. So no matter what you do, that grayish looking background shows. So like there, it's pretty much perfect. It is a little bit low, but I love this jumpsuit. It's just, I wish that they would have doubled up the bow, just double up the fabric on the bow so that way you're not walking around with that. <laughs> Y'all know how I feel about this stuff, so this is nothing new, but I really do wish that they had doubled up the fabric on this. Other than that, and it's not that big of a deal because with it tied and with the bow here, you can't really see that peekaboo very much, but it's pretty deep. So if you want to, you can always tack that and sew it maybe down here where you can still get it on because you just step into this one and pull it up. So maybe just sew this part together more towards the bottom where it's really low if you want to and just leave it be like open from here to here. That would not be a problem. It wouldn't change getting in and out of it. But this just bugs me. I don't like seeing that gray. I think it just distracts your eyes from the whole look. I don't like that. So I really wish that they would have doubled it up because I think that is really cute when you don't see all that gray. It's just one of those things, y'all know it bothers me, but I could always probably pin that part up and just have just like a big bow that doesn't hang down. So maybe that would work too. But I really do think this is cute. It's very comfortable, very stretchy, and plenty of room. So here is the front and the back. And now we are onto the dresses. <laughs> So I have two last pieces in this haul and both of them are dresses. So this one, sticking with the polka dot theme here, I have this adorable red polka dot dress. Y'all, this is so stinking cute. So I went with the 4XL in this one and it is 100% polyester. So I followed my measurements on this one and I gotta tell you, I don't think that I could have sized down. Yes, the middle has an elastic waist, so it is that more sheared or smock, however you, whatever you wanna call it. So you do have plenty of room here, but the arms have the slightest bit of tightness. <laughs> so you do have an elastic band right here in the sleeves, but when you let that go, it's pretty snug. It's not uncomfortable, but when you bend your arms up, you know, because your arms kind of squeeze up, 
but when you bend your arms this way, you can feel it pull just a little bit. Not anything terrible, because y'all know I would be out of this in a heartbeat if it was too tight, because I get claustrophobic and I can't stand it, but this is very, very comfortable, and I'm just wanting you to know if you don't like anything too snug around your arms, because I can bend my arms, I can move very comfortably in this, it's not pulling or anything, it is a little bit snug right in here. So just keep that in mind. So you have your V-neck non-functioning buttons right here in the front. And the flow of this skirt is absolutely adorable. It does have a little bit of a vintage feel because you have those puff sleeves. I just think this is the cutest thing ever. I love the red with the white polka dots. There's just something about that screams Minnie Mouse to me and I love it. It makes me happy. I love red polka dot. I always will and I think a lot of y'all do too. But this is just a cute dress. It's absolutely adorable. You could dress it down, throw on a little white denim jacket, gone out about your business. You could dress it up if you want to with some really pretty wedges, maybe some red ones. I just think this is so pretty and if I ever go to Disney, this is going to come with <laughs> because it's just so pretty and easy. Again, you've got that so much room in that waist. You just pull it right over your head and it is absolutely adorable. So here is the front and the back. And now for the last look in this haul, I have for y'all this really, really cute floral dress. <laughs> I always got to have a floral in here somewhere. Every single one of these videos, I have a floral dress. So this one is absolutely adorable. You have the cutest little flowers, not really a ditzy floral in my opinion, because they're not spaced out and they're not all the same like, like most ditzy floral. I don't know if that's a rule, but... You know, so <laughs> this one has these really pretty orange and pink and red flowers. And you've got those tiny little pink and white ones in the middle. I just think that, that those colors stand out so much on that black background. And I've said this before, you don't get a lot of floral with a back back. And I've said this before, you do not see a lot of floral prints with a black background. And I don't know why, because they are absolutely beautiful. They just pop off of that background and I think they're gorgeous. So this one, again, I went with the 3XL and it's 100% polyester. And I am just in love with this one. I think it is the cutest thing. You've got your V-neck here. You've got those little ruffly sleeves. So they are more of a sleeveless with the ruffle attached so you don't have a whole lot of coverage if you don't like your arms to show very much you can always put on a little cardigan or a jacket or just wear it like it is you've got that little ruffle so that kind of saves me a little bit because I'm not big on having my arms out but I feel like that little little bit of fabric kind of adds a little something so I would wear this by itself and I think I would be very comfortable because it's just so pretty and because you don't see this print everywhere, I think it's something special and just something different. And I just love this. So you do have an elastic waistband, so you have plenty of room in this. Now, again, I went with the 3XL based on the measurements and I don't think that I would have sized up or down. I am very comfortable with this size. I just love it. But again, y'all go by your measurements because you will usually always have a lot of <laughs> I just thought about that jumpsuit, the, the brown jumpsuit that I showed y'all. So there are a few hits every now and then you might might have a hiccup here and there. But for the most part, if you follow your measurements, you are usually going to be very, very happy. So like the red dress you just saw, I went with a 4XL, but in this one I went with a 3XL. It all depends on the cut, depends on just certain little details of it can change it completely. So always go by your measurements for each piece because a 2XL, a 3XL, and a 4XL could be something completely different depending on what you're buying. So just really keep that in mind. I don't want to harp about it, but just please keep that in mind that measurements make all the difference. Don't worry about the number on that tag. It means nothing. Nothing. <laughs> and that rule applies with any brand that you go with. 
The number means nothing. Go by your measurements. Okay. So this dress again is absolutely beautiful and I am so happy with it. It just makes me happy like a lot of these pieces did. So here is the front and back. So before I close this out, <laughs> I'm back, sorry. I wanted to show y'all this dress belted. Y'all know that's kind of my thing. I love to put a belt with something, especially if it's a floral print, just to kind of break it up a little bit. So this time I'm not gonna go with a big cinch belt. I'm just going with this little tan pencil belt. I'm just gonna go with this little tan skinny belt that came in a three piece set from Shein. I will try to find it and link it down below, but I, Love this belted with the skinny belt. I just think it breaks it up a little bit, brings in your waist a little, and it just adds a little bit of character. I think it's beautiful either way, but I do love it belted because it just adds a little something. So that is all I have for y'all in this haul today, and I love so much of this stuff. I'm sorry about the jumpsuit overall situation. <laughs> I'm sorry y'all had to go through that, but... I really do. I am so happy with everything in this haul. This one was a lot of fun to put together. And again, a huge thank you to Shein for working with me. A few of these items came from them, and that means the world to me. It means I have more content to show y'all, and it just makes me really, really happy. So I am coming up. I thought about this earlier. I am a few weeks away from my one year on YouTube. So it's so crazy because it feels like I've been doing this a long time some days and then other other days it feels like a couple months ago. So I am creeping up on one year here on this channel and it just makes me so happy because I love it and it has brought me so much joy. So I got to come up with something special for my one year. I'm not sure what yet but we'll figure something out. But again, y'all, thank y'all so much for spending your time with me. You all mean everything to me, your comments, and I read all of them, and I try to respond to everybody. Just please know that I read every comment that y'all leave on any of my videos. It comes straight to my phone. It might take me a little while to respond, but it just means the whole world to me. And y'all have made this past 11 months just the best. So thank y'all so much for supporting my channel and so much for supporting me. And y'all, until next time, y'all take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I will see you soon.